Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. Mike here from virtualrealityoasis.com and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. A few of you guys have been in contact with me and asked me how I record my VR videos. So I thought it would be a cool one to do a quick video how-to guide uh, on just to show you guys what settings I use and how I record my videos. Now I'm not an expert by any means but I've been doing this for a few months now and I feel like over the few months that I have been doing it I've learned a lot on the way and the quality of the videos has improved. And also just recently with the latest Oculus update a few things have changed and it's made life a lot easier. So just so you know if in future you want me to cover something in particular or you want to ask me some questions please feel free to do so. You can contact me on my email address Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and I'll generally get back to you the same day. So without further ado, grab a uh, cup of tea or a cup of coffee, sit back, relax and let's dive in. Okay guys, so here we are on my desktop. First things first is you want to navigate to Oculus. Go to Settings and General. Scroll down and make sure you've got Oculus app version 1.15 or above installed. So in this particular update, they updated uh, a little unknown feature, which is called Oculus Mirror. Now, if I delete my shortcut to it, I'll show you exactly how to create it. So essentially, you want to navigate to wherever you've installed Oculus, go to Support and Oculus Diagnostics. You'll find an application in that folder called Oculus Mirror. Now, you want to create a shortcut to that on your desktop. So here we are, my Oculus Mirror shortcut. I'm just going to tidy it up because I'm a bit OCD and I'm going to change the icon so it matches the Oculus icon like so. So copy that and go to change icon, get rid of that, paste in the path and find the Oculus icon there. So apply that and now we've got an Oculus Mirror shortcut with an oculus icon which is really cool. Now if I show you very quickly what oculus mirror actually does, so here we go. As I've been saying oculus a lot, it uh, has brung up a few settings so if I just navigate home, so here we are as you can see it's basically duplicating what I can see in the Rift on a screen on my desktop, which is fantastic. Previous versions of this application basically used to distort the view, so it wasn't ideal for recording. And I'll show you exactly what that used to look like. So if I close that, I've got a few nifty little commands that you can add to this little link, and it will change the way the display is output. So post distortion is essentially what it used to look like prior to this brand new update. So if I apply that and open it again, that is essentially what you used to get when you used to use uh, this application. So there is another setting that you can use that might be helpful to you guys and this would be useful if you wanted to record a proper 3D video that you could then later play back uh, on the actual Rift itself. So Let's try that. And this is actually true SBS 3D output, which is really cool. There's a few other settings here, left eye and right eye only, include guardian, include notifications, and change the width and height. Now, the only one that I would think would be really, really useful would be the right eye only. Say if you were playing a sniper game, for example, and you wanted to get your view straight down the sights so your viewer can see exactly what you're viewing, then that would actually be quite useful. But for me personally, at the moment, for most of the games, I just leave it default and get it to display what it normally displays. So I'll include those uh, little uh, options in the description down below so you can just copy and paste them uh, into your application. So now we've updated Oculus and we've got Oculus Mirror up and running, we now want to record what the output it's displaying. 
So I recommend using OBS. There are other options out there like XSplit uh, or GeForce uh, Shadowplay, but to be honest, I've used OBS for a little while now and I've really become uh, uh, accustomed to using it. I'll include the link in the description below so you can download that. And then once you've got that installed, you'll basically see this. So obviously I'm using OBS to actually record this video. So you can get it to record your desktop or whatever you please. It's actually quite a powerful tool. So I'm just gonna breeze through some of the settings that I use. So I've changed the theme to dark. I prefer the dark theme. Uh, I'm gonna gloss over stream and go straight to output. Uh, in the recording, I change the output to my SSD. Um, just be aware that using the settings that I'm going to provide in this video, the file sizes are going to be quite large. Like for a 30 minute to 40 minute video, I think it works out about 30 gigabytes, but the quality is pretty good. So just be mindful that you've got enough size to record the video that you want to record. Uh, change the recording format to MP4, encoder to X264, and I res rescaled the output to 1080p. So I've actually got a 1440p monitor, but I output the scale to 1080p. Rate control, CRF, CRF7, keyframe interval 2, CPU usage ultra fast, profile high. So jumping to the video, like I said before, the base canvas is 1440p, but I rescale it to 1080p, and I make sure that I'm recording at 60 frames per second. Uh, in the advanced, I just think you just need to change the process priority to high. I think pretty much everything else is the same. So they're the settings that I use, but feel free to have a play around with it and find the settings that work best for you and you know are outputting at a size that is manageable for you. So then what you want to do is you want to click on the plus button and create a new scene. Now, I can't actually do that for you right now because if I do, it will change exactly what I'm recording now. But essentially, you want to press the plus button and have window capture. Once that's up and running and you've got window capture open, open Oculus Mirror. And I'm just going to navigate this to my home. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. So once that's that, then just put the window capture to Oculus Mirror and stretch it along your screen. And then you'll be able to record your full screen uh, output from your Oculus Rift. Now, if you want to get more fancy with it, you can add a video capture device such as your webcam and then put that overlaid in the corner. So that is the way that I record my videos. Uh, using OBS. I hope you guys like the video and you, I hope you, it was helpful to you guys. So I'm just going to jump straight to the outro. Okay guys, so that was the end of the video. So I hope this video helped you guys out that are maybe sharing this kind of uh, content on Twitter or Facebook or even making your own YouTube channel. I hope I could help you guys out. If you've got any feedback, questions or something you're not sure of or even maybe a setting that I've missed in the video that you think is important, then please let me know in the comments down below. Hit a like if I did end up helping you and as always guys, I will see you on the next one. Cheers.